The Bears just signed another freak athlete to the final spot on the practice squad. Poles loves to use these last couple of spots on the practice squad for athletic freaks. Last year, he brought in Terrell Lewis and Samus Reyes. Lewis ended up having an awesome preseason and making the 53, but then got cut. Today, Poles brings in an athletic freak for the offensive line, signing Matt Farnio. He was a 7th round pick in 2021 by the Dallas Cowboys. He was a 4-year starter in Nebraska, starting 3 years at right tackle before moving to guard his senior season. He spent his senior season at guard but also started 2 games at center. He's smart and versatile, but his biggest gift is his athleticism. He is 6 foot 5, 311 pounds and ran a 1.72 10 yard split, which is elite for his size. He has long 33 plus inch arms, a 33 inch vertical and scored a 9.9 overall on the relative athletic score. His athleticism is literally off the charts. He played 23 total snaps as a rookie for the Cowboys, 11 at center and 12 at right guard. He flashed some potential in his limited snaps, allowing zero pressures and grading out with an 80 overall grade from PFF. Then last season, the Cowboys had some more injuries on the offensive line, and Matt had to start two games. He started both games at left guard and played 191 total snaps on offense. He gave up 13 pressures, 6 QB hits, 1 penalty, and allowed 0 sacks. His PFF grade dropped significantly though to a 39.1 overall. I didn't have time to go back and watch any of his tape this afternoon. I'm working on some other big videos before Sunday. But I will read his brief scouting report from NFL Draft Buzz, a site I really respect. These are his strengths. He's a solid positional run blocker who flashes the nasty demeanor and killer instincts scouts covet. He also has a strong upper body with physical, powerful hands and works hard to gain body positioning in the run game. He has the feet to adjust when he anticipates what's coming. He's effective at trapping and bends at the knees with adequate core strength to absorb the bull rush. He can clear a path at the second level if he hits the target. He's tall, long, and athletic as a pass protector, generally gets out of his three-point stance with good knee bend and a wide base. His awareness is above average for his limited experience. He sells trap blocks and can turn to seal. He's fluid getting to the second level and adjusting. His weaknesses, however, is he's heavy-footed and he lacks elite lateral ability. He will struggle with speed rushers and footwork is still a work in progress. He bends too much at the waist and overextends himself, often caught lunging and leaning. He will punch at smaller defenders instead of latching on and is more of a mauler than a mover in the run game. He can improve maintaining outside leverage when doubling the nose. He ducks his head and gets too upright, causing him to fall off second level blocks. He flashes the ability to move his man with his hands, but he's not yet consistent in this area. He has inconsistent footwork and body positioning and needs to improve his blocking angle. He sounds like a guy with the demeanor and athleticism that Ryan Poles loves. We will have to see if he responds to Chris Morgan's coaching. Simo is a great O-line coach, and this guy has potential, but is just a practice squad guy for now. If he develops or gets moved to the active roster, I will do a film breakdown on him. Overall, this probably means Terrell Lewis is not coming back. I've come to terms with that by now. I wish him the best and I hope he lands somewhere. Matt Farniok is an intriguing developmental guy and someone I will keep an eye on going forward. He can play guard or center and is just 25 years old. Let me know what you guys think. Please remember to hit that like button for me. And until next time... Bear down. Jay, you got him. Here we go. Do right, Jay. Do right, Jay. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, good work today, baby. Let's keep going. Here we go. Bears on three. One, two, three. Bears.